Hey everybody, it's time for your next exciting chapter in Number Corner. To do this, you're going to need that document. This one, April Number Corner Calendar Fractions. We are updating to yesterday, April 19th, and today, April 20th. Let's go on to that calendar. We already flipped our cards on our last number corner, so you had some time to make your observations without me. So, let's see what your observations and your fractions look like. For the 19th on April su on Sunday, April 19th, we had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 eggs out of 12. That makes our fraction 8 twelfths. There are 8 eggs in the carton that hold a dozen. 8 out of 12 because 12 is a dozen. 8 twelfths is equivalent to 2 thirds. The reason those are equivalent is because I can take the numerator 8 and the denominator 12 and divide the numerator and the denominator by the same number and I will get an equivalent fraction. To do that I'm going to take the 8 and I'm going to divide it by 4. 8 divided by 4 is 2. I'm going to take that 12 and divide it by the same thing. 8 12 divided by 4 is 3. If I take the numerator and the denominator and I divide it by the same number, I end up with an equivalent fraction. You also know by looking at it, I can take this and split it into three even parts. We've got one part there, one part there, and one missing part there. So that is one-third, two-thirds, this would be three-thirds. That is why eight-twelfths is equivalent to two-thirds. Let's look at today, April 20th. On Monday, April 20th, we've got a ruler, eight inches out of 12 are split up. They're shaded blue. This is also split up into thirds. Four inches makes one third. Another four inches makes another third. And another four inches makes that third third. So this is also equivalent to the same as our fraction before two-thirds of it is filled. Let's add that to our document. Eight inches of the one-foot ruler is blue. Eight out of 12 is equal to two-thirds. You've got to make your observation right here. Tomorrow, you have the 21st. Card looks like this. It doesn't look like the same fraction. It looks like an entirely new one. Take a moment, make your observation for it, get it written down on that document. Tomorrow, we're gonna update it. Hey, don't go anywhere yet. You've got a number corner assignment to do. It is attached to this assignment post. It is a PDF and it looks like this. You've got this page to complete. This page is titled More About Fractions, page 54, but when you go to print it off, when you go to look at it, you're going to find a PDF titled NC More Equal Fractions 53. To complete this, you're going to want to read the directions and complete them one at a time. For this first portion, you're going to give me two names for each one of these fractions. First name there, second name there. Down here, you're going to list me two ways. These calendar markers are like, please address those in complete sentences. You're going to make sure that you also address number three in complete sentences. It says why or why not. You are going to have to explain yourself. In number four, you're also going to have to explain yourself. It says how do you know? I know because. And on number five, you're not explaining yourself. You are just going to shade one third of the eggs in this carton. This is not a carton of 12. This is a carton of six. Get this page finished off, printed off, filled out, and sent back over to me. You can send it an email. You can send it as a picture. You can send it any way you like, as long as I receive it by Wednesday. Have a great day, everybody.